Hi. I got here a Dutch axe head. It's a nooit gedacht, 600 gram. I reshaped it a little bit at the bottom here to make it a bit more wavy. I like it more. So it's not exactly 600 gram anymore, but it's not that big difference. I polished it till 2000 grit. I put it on a test handle that I made because I wanted to try something. And now I'm going to make a proper handle with it. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to make it a bit shorter. And I'm going to make a hexagon handle from this. The grain is really good on this one. It's like almost perfectly straight all the way. So let's start. I still need to carve out a little bit here of the curve and this I will do with my knife. It's a good fit now, now we're gonna shape the handle.
This is just mineral spirit, just to clean it of the sanding. Now I'm gonna touch up the head a little bit because it was already used and dirty and scratched from the test side. I'll do this with a small flap disc, 80 grit. Just make motions like this. It won't overheat, it won't get hot at all actually. And I will get nice even lines, like a nice satin finish. So that's what I'm gonna do now. The head is cleaned up, now I'm gonna work on the edge. I got here some 600 grit sandpaper and some 1200 grit sandpaper. So what do we have? We have a 42 centimeter ash handle. The grain runs perfect all the way straight. I made an octagon handle from this, so it fits perfectly in the hand. The handle is slightly burned, so you can see the grain better. And then there's two layers of boiled linseed oil on it. The head is a Nooit gedacht, it's a Dutch mark, 600 grams, but because I reshaped it here, I think it's around 550 grams now. The head fits perfectly, it's well seated, and I gave it a satin, satin finish. The bit. I use 600 grit, 1200 grit and 2000 grit sandpaper and then I strapped it on bare leather. Time to test it on wood. I did it. She's working. <laughs> <laughs> 